Well, we've reached that time of year when it's time to clean the bottom of Molly. She's been in the water since April and the copper coat's done a pretty good job, but uh, it all needs cleaning off. So I've, uh, before the start of this video, I'd got Molly moored up on our drying grids. We're really lucky at our sailing club to have a place where Molly can dry out. And it's a really straightforward thing with the Crabber 26. She sits very stably on her big long keel uh, although she's quite low to the ground, so access was a little bit more difficult. So uh, here you can see me whizzing around with the Club Jet Wash, a nice powerful one, which is uh, quite good. Working my way down the, the side of the hull below the waterline, checking out uh, all the bits and pieces to make sure everything's nice and clean, make sure there's no damage anywhere, and uh, working my way around. That um, drying grid looks fairly clean, but actually it's really muddy. And uh, I had to practically lay down on the surface there to get the jet wash to some of the slightly more hard to access points. Uh, but you can see me industriously working my way around and uh, getting the hull nice and clean. You can see the beautiful uh, green color of the copper coat coming through as uh, I swoosh off all of the, uh, the contamination. It worked out relatively uh, straightforwardly actually. So now I'm turning my attention to the prop, which is uh, obviously facing away from the camera, so you can't see that. Uh, you can also see me having a chat with someone there. There's always someone going by. It's nice to have a conversation at the club there. He wanted me to put a float in position through an eye on the uh, ground so that he's got a place to attach a bow line. He's got the low tide tomorrow. Uh, Molly was really very, very stable um, on, the, on the ground with that long keel and felt very secure, although I tried not to spend very much time inside her. You can see her leaning against the piles with uh, a fender board against each of the piles and then a pair of fenders behind the board to protect the boat. The uh, prop was nice and clean. Uh, I got that uh, scraped clean with a plastic scraper and I also, whilst I was there, checked the anodes. I didn't have any spares but uh, they did look like they were coming towards replacement, although I'm confident they'll last through the winter and uh, I'll replace them in the spring before we get going. Uh, lots of big plans for next season. Uh, you can see at the moment Molly's without a mast. That's a way having some uh, work done on it. And uh, we should be back in uh, sailing condition in, in uh, the end of January. And uh, I can begin my season nice and early, I hope, and uh, get on with some uh, terrific sailing. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.